Welcome back to Revolver's Day Gaming. This is Akira, Akira speaking, and this is Doom for PlayStation 4. Uh, I had this game for a while, just never got a chance to play it. Without mercy, but you, you will be worse. Rip and tear until it is done. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck already? Oh. Oh, please come out. I ain't pulling my ammo. Okay, so uh, already right off the bat, no freaking tutorial. Shit, I'm already freaking out. What is this? We have to contain this. What are you talking about me? Ooh, just a suit. Stash report. Demonic invasion in progress. That's a smashy looking outfit. Commander Chief from Halo would love this. So, um, I did play the first original, um, Dooms, the you know, first one into. Uh, I also had the Doom for the X Xbox, which, that game scared the shit out of me so bad when I was a young kid that, so you, glory kills, dealing damage to demons will cause them to stagger, which is NK by Blue Highlight. Oh, dude, what done reading? Um, I am so glad I got infinite ammo on this thing. Oh, okay, got a hit. But, yeah, the, I was so terrified of the Xbox version of Doom that I, I, I couldn't play it when I was a kid. And now here I am damn doing this shit. Cruising. Got that shotgun, hell yeah. Well, fuck you too, motherfucker. Demonic presence at top safe level. Lockdown, in effect. Let's see, it's, uh, Imp 1, uh, these ferocious and agile demons are found all over hell and are often used on the frontline con concerted attack in either dimension. They revel in battle, feeding off their victims when the, the hunger takes them. No shit. Let's see, the, the possessed. Uh, the possessed are created in a Lazarus Wave event, a phenomenon first discovered by Dr. Olivia 
Pierce during, during her Lazarus project, while most victims exposed to Argent byways were will expire without further effect. Some subjects will absorb traces of Argent energy and enter a state of posthumous vigor. Uh, despite ne necrosis of the internal organs with the exception of the brain, the victim continues to animate and exhibit a lower order of sentence for weeks or even months after their, their clinical death. Posthumous brain activity in the possessed is limited to instinctive behavior. The possessed are known to be territorial when confronted by the living. Uh, damn it, I went and done that. Uh, where was I? Uh, uh, when isolated, they will often enter a dormant state of extended periods of time. They will, will stand unmoving for days or weeks at a time until presented with a live food source or threatened by a predator. An interesting behavior has been seen when the possessed are held in small groups. They will drag human corpses to a central location within their holding pens and then perform a silent ritual around the pile of bodies. The resulting ceremonial site appears to be the initial stage of a gore nest. These actions must be driven by telepathic communication with higher ranking demons. As there is no local brain activity that could manage such choices, that the possessed will perform these tasks even when limbs are removed or pal Pavlovian pain responders are implanted into their cortex, further cementing the theory that they are unwilling slaves performing an integral part of the life cycle of the demons. The possessed created the birthing ground for new demons and upon ex expiration are themselves used as fertilizer for the gore nest. Okay. Oh, all right, so. Yeah, that, that was a lot of reading. Okay. My jaw's tired. <laughs> okay, let's go. There's one. How I change? I want my handgun back. There you are. Okay. Demonic presence and unsafe levels. Oh, what was that? Heart? Oh. Demon I can't jump out of that, can I? Hey, got you. Oh, damn, I'm already on low health. Oh, killing these things and getting the blue orb is getting health. I don't know how good uh, ammo range on this gun is, so that's the reason I keep running up on these motherfuckers. Oh god, okay, low ammo. Uh, let's see if I can find a. Oh, I can jump up. Okay, okay. Jobs. Yes. What is that? Oh, health. And now we know what health looks like. Basically, ugh, not really. 
I'm just gonna start running into every single little thing I see on the ground up here, blue or green. So green is shield, blue is health. Uh, maxed health. Well, that's nice. Okay, so uh, let's go over next area. What do you want? Cannot be allowed to leave this place. He would ruin everything. Dude, that's bullshit. Fuck you. I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now, yes. Is that you? But it was worth the risk. I assure you. Oh, that was an intro. Okay. The game that started so many late nights. And so many freaking nightmares. So that says your dossier. Auto map. The missions tab will show you the auto map available missions and challenges and exploration items that can be found in the current mission. Nice. Ooh. Okay, so challenges is unavailable. Let's see, discover the cause, find the resource ops, entrance, uh, field drones, and elite guards. Oh shit. Uh, can I go down there? Like, I don't know what I can do on this game yet. I'm guessing maybe. I'll find out. Oh damn, dude. No fall damage? And of course we got everything else for about though, don't we? Definitely pick up the upper. Okay. Codex entry required. Brief history. Uh, despite discovery of the liquid water on Mars in early 21st century, the colonization of Mars had little appeal beyond exploration for the next century. With the discovery of the Argent Fracture, a transdimensional stream of refined Argent Plasma, into 2095, settling and mining Mars became both practical and essential to meet the vast energy demands of Earth. However, the need for atmospheric conversion and terraforming of the Red Planet was a task that seemed insurmountable to all but one corporation, the UAC. Which, um, yeah, the UAC, it was also in the X, 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 regular Xbox game of Doom. So, yeah, I, also, they was in the movie too, wasn't they? Uh, through the di their diligent dedication to the technological advancements of, and forward, forward thinking, an outpost was established in MTC-2096 to extract Argent Plasma from the fracture. When this plasma is subjected to the USC's harmonic uh, transference pattern, Argent energy is produced. This remarkable venture eventually bore fruit as Argent energy became the primary power source for all of Earth. New visitors to the UAC facility may take their take for granted the rich atmospheric while on the surface for it should be remembered that just a few short decades ago Mars was an inhospitable desert that could support no life ain't it still what was that that jumped I thought that had to travel that's basically anywhere I can go I can reach nice Yep. Here we go.
big for Jonah Dad. Oh! Frozen this game is touchy. Now I guess I'll get used to it, but damn. Waste shot. Guess I better be on that lookout for uh, different weapons too. More armor. All the armor is always nice. Fine blue SS key. Resource option. That's what. Is that it? Is it up there? Yeah. Two. You got fucked up. Rips your fucking arms off. Most your skin ribs are showing. Two. So, uh, I'm playing on a normal setting. I mean, I'm not deep. I, I didn't, I didn't get the chance to even... What was that? Frack grenade. Let's go. I wonder, could I have started that when I was up on the ledge? That probably would have been beneficial for me. <gasps> oh, dude. Each little thing of green is ten armor. That that you. I see you.
Okay, so far, not too hard. I mean, yes, I, like I said, I'm on normal difficulty. And we are like at the first of the game, so. <laughs> Dude. Oh, yeah, my, my health is going up and down like crazy, like I said. Yes, it's going with the, the formation of the natural, like, ground. Welcome to UAC. The guidebook will serve as your personal guide to fitting in at, er at the Argent facility on Mars. Your devotion to the UAC's mission is the funda foundation on which we achieve the establishment of a new par paradigm to move humanity forward in the future. Tier 1 advocates may take some uh, time to adjust to life on Mars, but with faith and dedication, you can look forward to a long, long and fruitful career as you work toward a full induction. Your tr transition to Tier 2 status will be just upon your actions here. Make a good impression, new advocate. The, this guy will up, uh, update automatically as soon as you access new areas of the facility. Expect more helpful hints in UAC way of life. And as we say here on Mars, power for power from the people. That's cool. What's the? Okay, I don't, I don't, I don't care about that. So what's the new monster? Oh, possessed soldier. Yeah, you you a motherfucker. While Lazarus wave exposure does effectively wipe any vestige of human behavior from most of his patients. Some subjects continue to display tactical cog uh, cognates posthumously. -hum I know I said that word before pretty good, but now I'm fucking it up. Uh, as with possessed engineers, this does not appear to be random. If an individual has trained in combat as part of the UAC military, the Lazarus Wave event will transform them into a more into more than human slave, that more than mere slaves. This anomaly further supports that supports the theory that there is some form of genetic coding embedding embedded within the Lazarus wave particles, which governs the outcome of Lazarus wave exposure on a per case basis. One of kind of her. Field drones must supply with weapon mods that can be activated by using the weapon mod button. Choose which mod you want and it will attach your weapon. Sweet. Charged burst or explosive shot. Dude, be nice to the drone is helping you. Okay, so how do I use that? Uh, combat shotgun. Decoded entry explosive shot. Glycerin fuse that detonates. Oh, nice. 
so I don't, I don't have to do anything. It just literally. Hello. They are looking right down on me too. Oh, fuck you, dude! I just ran right in front of your freaking blast, didn't I? Fuck you! You go. Doll. I want to name you George. What is that thing? Oh, it's a grenade. There you go. Okay, now I have it. Yeah. I don't know how to use grenades or so I just tried it. I found out. Let's go down this little...